Welcome to the second video in this series on using Substance 3D Modeler on desktop. This is an introduction to sculpting tools. We'll cover the basics of clay, erase, smooth, and warp tools, and how to change some of the tool placement settings and behaviors. This video and the rest of the series will all be with a right-handed layout. So if you're left-handed, please open up the Preferences menu found here under the Edit dropdown and swap to a left-handed setup in the Desktop tab here. The left-handed layout will swap the UI panel placement and the layout for the tool palette. Launching Modeler starts in an empty scene and by default starts with a clay tool and a cube shape. Every tool has a different placement setting for how the tool is used and by default we have the gizmo for clay. You start with the cube shape, but there's others to choose from in the tool palette, like cylinder, hexagon, cube, etc. Interaction is done using these handles. You can move along an axis with the arrows, uh, plane with the square, or rotate with the rings. And you can snap rotate by holding the control key. Keeping your cursor inside of this circular preview will snap to 22.5 and, and 45 degrees, while moving outside of that circle snaps to 15 degree increments. Release left click first, otherwise it will switch back to freely rotating before you're done rotating. Pressing R on your keyboard will reset the rotation of the gizmo. Pressing R twice will reset the position to the current origin, which in this case is the layer's origin. It can also be reset down here. These smaller white dots allow for non-uniform scaling when the shape allows it. Holding Control will limit movement to one side, and the larger white dot allows for uniform scaling. Each shape has slightly different settings, and additional settings will be in the tool palette. You can also quickly flip the shape by holding Control and clicking an arrow, or quickly rotating 90 degrees by control clicking one of the rings. Shape parameters are saved when switching shapes, if the other shape shares it. This revert button here will reset all the parameters, but ignores scale, while pressing on the shape itself resets all parameters and scale to default. Use tools, in this case the clay tool, with the spacebar. It works the same as the apply button down here at the bottom. You can switch to Erase by selecting the Erase tool here, or hitting E on your keyboard, and switch to the Clay tool with C. Tab is also used to quickly switch between options with different tools, and in this case it swaps between Clay and Erase. The gizmo allows for careful use of tools and can help create very precise movements for hard surface shapes, as an example. At the bottom of the tool palette here is the other placement option, Surface Snap. This snaps any tool to the surface of the clay. Modeler supports tablets, and Surface Snap is easier to control with pen usage. And to quickly change the size of your brush, hold Control, click, and drag. This can also be done when using the gizmo placement. There are a few ways to change the behavior of the clay and erase tool. The first is single mode, found in the tool palette here, to only stamp down clay. And pressure allows for pressure sensitivity. The last two here are Lazy Stroke, which has the tool preview follow behind the cursor by a short distance, and Steady Stroke, which steadies the tool preview with all movement. You can also quickly switch between the gizmo and the previously used placement setting by pressing the G key. Some of these can be combined together, for example to make more careful cuts. Not all of these options exist for every tool, but all tools have at least some of them. While you can sculpt quite a bit of complexity with just the clay and erase tools, it's certainly helpful to be able to soften edges and cuts. So right over here is the Smooth tool, which can be switched to by tapping Shift. By default, it snaps to the surface of the clay. It's a pretty common workflow to quickly jump between sculpting tools and the Smooth tool, so we'll switch back to the clay tool with C. If you hold Shift while using the clay tool, or any other sculpting tool, you'll temporarily switch to the Smooth tool. This lets you jump between the two pretty rapidly. Smooth also has a couple other options here, including restricting it to only fill or flatten. With quick swapping between clay and erase and the ability to use the smooth tool as an alt tool, this already gives way to control the forms you make very quickly. The last tool to cover here is the warp tool. You can find it here in the tool palette, or you can switch to it with W. The warp tool lets you warp and stretch clay. Changing the tool size gives you options to make very large changes, down to very small changes. You can also change the size as you use it. 
by default, the intensity is set to 100, but lower values allow you to be more subtle with your movements. Default determines the falloff, where 100 will affect everything within the tool preview by an equal amount, and 0 will have a falloff from the center point to the edges. You can change hardness over here in the palette. You can make more complicated warp actions by holding space and making changes while it's held. The default shape is the sphere, but there's also currently a cube and a pill shape up here. The cube shape can be useful for pushing in quick creases or pulling out quick edges. There's a subtool of warp called Elastic Warp, which can be found here. Elastic Warp has a volume preserving effect. It allows for some squash and stretch while warping. Compressibility affects the degree to which the volume is preserved. Elastic Warp affects the entire layer that it's used on, so it can be a more intense computation when used on a bigger layer. You can quickly switch between regular and Elastic Warp by pressing Tab. Modeler allows for a few symmetry settings while you're sculpting. Mirror symmetry can be found in the Actions menu. Bring up the Actions menu by right-clicking anywhere on the screen. Mirror symmetry can be toggled by this butterfly icon here. It can also be found on the bottom bar here at the bottom. There is a lot more to symmetry settings, but that will be more fully covered later in this series. Lastly, you can undo with Ctrl Z and redo with Ctrl Y. Undo and redo affect any tool action, but this does not include moving the gizmo without using the tool. This effect on the gizmo is currently being worked on and will change in the future. And that will wrap up part two in this series on using Modeler on desktop. Next up in part three, we'll be covering the basics of scene assembly, which is moving and arranging layers and groups. This includes using the select tool, making and copying layers, and using groups.